How are we doing, folks? Welcome back to the Nightmare Cabin. I've got a review for you to do. And this is Kings of Fresh, the Mega Years, live at Whiskey A Go Go. Um, my one's turned up a bit. That bit in the middle there's all damaged. All the CDs come flying out of it. But you got pretty much unfolds. You've got a photo of the band there. Um, yeah, so primarily, Kings of Fresh is ex Megadeth members. So you've got David Ellefson. Um, Chris Poland and Jeff Young. Uh, Chris Poland, obviously, well, David Ellefson is, that's a mouthful, isn't it? David Ellefson, there you go. Um, obviously, David Ellefson's a, you know, one of the key members in Megadeth, apart from David Mustaine. He's the one that's played on the most albums. Um, Chris Poland played on the first two, uh, Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good, and Peace Sells But Who's Buying, and then Jeff Young, joined on so good so so far so good so what um and yeah they're basically doing gigs playing the early megadeth years um now this one's a bit of a mixed bag i uh i've not listened to the cds but i did watch the dvd it's a really good gig it's 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 really good you, yeah so you've got um let's go for the other lineup so on yeah Chaz leon on vocals and guitar, he does a good job, and Fred Archin on drums. So yeah, a couple of ex member members of Megadeth with a couple of young guys playing the old stuff. Now I'm I'm a fan of stuff like this. You know, prime example is Paul Diano. You can see him in a small club with a really good band playing material from the first two Iron Maiden albums that you never you're not going to hear otherwise. Um, I've seen Jeff Tate. From Queensryche playing Operation Mindcrime in full and Empire in full again in a really small venue that probably would you know if it was in Queensryche would have been twice the size. Um, I'm trying to think of people that are doing it now. It's becoming a bit of a thing now. Oh, left to, left um, left for dead or left to die. So you got the ex death members they're doing leprosy in full. Yeah, it, 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 I think it's pretty cool because you get to see. Some members of a band or a, or a particular period of a band focusing on a particular period of a band's back catalogue. I mean, I suppose the real successful one, it's not really metal, but uh, Peter Hook from New Order and Joy Division, he's just playing all these albums in full and, you know, he's basically touring full time doing that. So, yeah, I, I, I quite like it. I quite like it. You know, I've got a sneaking suspicion seeing Judas Priest in Wembley Arena, which I've got tickets for, by the way. Um, but seeing KK Downing with Tim Owens again in a really small venue playing the same songs, I bet it's a it's probably a better night out, you know. So I totally get what the appeal is here, and I'm I'm sure if this was, you know, I'm the crowd looks seems to be going. It looks like a packed gig. It looks like it's sold out, and the crowd are going mad. There's a mosh pit going on and everything. And, um, yeah, if this was playing in London, I'd definitely go to watch it. And the gig is good. Right, so let's get out of the way. This is what my problem is with it. This says quite clearly on the... And I've got it up for you here. Oh, who are misses? Right, here it is. On Amazon. Can you just read that? Is that clear? Right, I've got it here. Right. Featuring the songs from both Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good, So Far So Good, So What, albums in their entirety, okay? Right. So you look at the set list. Opening with Last Rites. Now, as you know, Killing My Business and Business Is Good, it goes into Love You To Death, doesn't it? Right. And then I'm reading the set list. So it goes Last Rites into Rattlehead, into The Skull Beneath The Skin, then we get Devil's Island. Then Wake Up Dead. Now, track number eight is Orange Light. That is literally just the music from Apocalypse Now playing over the speakers while they set up for the next song. Why is that a set? Uh, why is that a song on the set list? And I'm looking for the, this jubbled up set list, and I'm thinking, right, it seems to me the two albums done in full is by accident, not by design. But then I'm looking for it again. Let's get... Um, Mary Jane isn't played. Anarchy for the UK isn't played. And I'm thinking, well, Anarchy for the UK is a uh, cover 
So I'll let that one slip. I mean, I saw Testament doing, uh, not the gathering, um, the Legacy and the New Order in full, back to back, both albums. And they didn't do the Aerosmith cover at the end of New Order. Uh, nobody's fault. They didn't play that. It's a cover, doesn't matter. Yeah? So, mate, oh, but hold on a minute. They're playing these boots are made for walking, so why would they? Right. So they don't do Love You to Death, the opening track of the album that they said that they're going to do in full. And they missed two songs off of um, So Far, So Good, So What? But there's a bunch of um, songs from... First of all, I did think, why are they playing like them two albums? Why not? But they're not going to do Peace Cells. That was weird, but whatever. Um, yeah, so it's not in order, and it's not in thing. So the jumbled up order, I'm thinking, oh, well, maybe it just so happens they happen to play them all, and then they advertise it like that. But no, there's songs missing from it as well. So... That's pissed me off. Um, you know, it, don't say it's going to be one thing if it's not. What would have been good was ex Megadeth members get together with some young talent and do a set list spanning 1980. God knows that I've done, done I mean dates now, but it doesn't matter. Doing an album spanning the first three Megadeth albums. Oh, brilliant. An old school set. First three albums. Yeah, lovely. That would have been a good thing, selling point. But no, the selling point was you're doing two albums in full. So I'm thinking, well, why have they said that if they haven't? So then, this gig is, and it says quite clearly here, recorded and filmed live at the Whiskey A Go Go, Los Angeles, October 15th, 2022. So just out of curiosity, I went on to uh, setlist.com because I'm thinking, right, it's saying that they've done it, but they haven't done it. But then I'll go on to setlist.com. And lo and behold, there it is. You can look this up yourself. They do do it. And they do it. So it opens, the show opens with Into the Lungs of Hell. And then they right, so they open with doing So Far, So Good, So What in full. Then they do Killing Is My Business, including Love to, Love to Death in full and in order. And then the encore is Wake Up Dead, Devil's Island, and Peace Cells. That makes sense now, doesn't it? So that was the set list. So why is the set list on this like it's been on shuffle? On this, you've got Last Rites, and then it goes into Rattlehead. Then it goes into Skull... Then it goes into Devil's Island. Then Wake Up Dead. Like they're in the... So the set list is completely muddled up. And when I was looking at this whilst watching it, it becomes apparent as well how... The concert's edited. So I thought, okay. Sometimes you get this. When you get a DVD of a show, it might be shorter or whatever, and the audio is the full show. So you get that with um, Overkill. On um, They explain it as well. So you get the full show on the audio, but you get a bit of an edited thing on the... But they do explain. They basically balls one song up. but um, <laughs> And they put it on the video as well. And they even point to watch this here and then you know or uh you know judas priest live in london yeah you get back four or five extra songs on this on the, yeah so that happens okay all right let's look at the cd then maybe the full show in order is on the cd they you know maybe the maybe a track didn't come out very well it didn't look very good something like that might be a technical thing no it's the exact same set list so what's gone on there so yeah it's a bit of a you know, it's good, but it's not what you told me it was, and it's not what it could have been, because you sold it to me as with two albums are being played in full. Not only are they not, they're not played in order, and they're not played in full anyway, and the annoying thing is, I know that they were. So, yeah, it's a bit of a, hmm, bit of a downer, really. But, <laughs> the stuff that is on there is good. The video that you get is very good. And, you know, if you're going to listen to the... It, all, the musicians are great. The performance is great. The, the atmosphere on the thing looks like it's a really good gig. I just don't know what went wrong. And if they just went, ex-Megadeth members get together to play an old-school Megadeth set, selecting tracks from the first three albums, I'd have been none the wiser. So, yeah, it's a balls-up all round, really. So, make of that what you will. Um... 
if you are a Megadeth fan, like a super Megadeth fan, yeah, it's good to see these songs played live. I mean, hardly any of them are played live by Mega Dave's band. You know, Skull Beneath the Skin and Into the Lungs of Hell and Set the World of Fire, Liar, Hook in Mouth. You know, it's the old stuff. But, yeah, it's just a bit of a... It's not what it could have been. But it's not completely bad. It's If you put all that aside and just watch it for what it is and have a beer, it's a good watch. And probably a good listen. So, yeah. It's up to you if you want to get it, really. I don't think... Um, it was worth... I enjoyed it. It was worth watching for what it was. And if you are a super mega death fan, it's worth having a go. But that's what's wrong with it. And as one consumer to another, I thought I'd better advise you. So, I hope that's helpful for you. hope you uh, check it out. And uh, I'll be back soon with another review. And yeah, thanks for watching as always. If you got this far, do us a favour, give us one of them. And I'll see you later. Cheers. <laughs>